Hello, friends. Welcome back to Fallout 4 with your host, Wrong with the Bold, and his lovely lady, Kate. Uh, we are in Vault 75, 75, 75, in the bottom of the Malden Middle School. Uh, an experiment being run by Vault Tech, of course, fuckers, uh, where they, looks like they kept kids and disposed of the parents and were basically pricks and trained them to be fighters. Who's there? Me? Wait, where are you? Ah. Come on. You mean that's it? Um, power fist. Awesome. So yeah, we're so we're checking out what's what what they what they are all about. I think you're fatigues. Yeah. Freaking teddy bear on Overseer's Terminal. Okay. Got more Mentats. Oh, safe. That was a kind of a hidden disguise safe. Oh. Nose 44 in the house. All right, let's see what the overseer's got to say for himself here. Operations protocol. Residents admitted. Okay, this one is the same. Oh, adults age 17 and older will be isolated and disposed of. Ah, uh, 2017 will be taken directly to atrium area responsible for introducing. Switch so the caretaker robots and their sleeping facilities. Uh, wow, family policy. Been built within the township of Malden. All families of children aged 5 to 16 have been offered subs subsidized admittance. Um, Some distress is expected in the early days of internment. <laughs> Child care consolation protocols. If guidance is needed. Holy crap. Uh, they've assigned... Okay. Research personnel to remain within a designated wing. Isolated from making physical contact with residents except under special circumstances. Residents age 18 and older must be removed from the general population annually. Residents who have exhibited genetic promise are to be preserved for genome harvesting and reintegration. Residents of average genetic promise but high intelligence and docility must uh, may be recruited to the research staff at overseer discretion. All other residents to be removed must be culled. Jeez. Research staff is responsible for cultivating embryo replacements to maintain consistent resident population numbers. Vault 75 is to remain sealed until an all clear order is issued by Vault Tech. Holy crap, these people suck. Annual turnover. Beginning one year after initial containment, children over the age of 18 must be removed from the general population. This will be done annually on a date specified by the overseer and chief scientist. It is recommended that this graduation be treated as an important tradition inside Vault 75. Appropriate ceremonies should be conceived of and performed by overseer staff with outgoing subjects being removed one by one from the main living area. Once separated from the general population, subjects with aggregate ratings of excellent and superior are to be escorted to the genomics laboratory for processing. Subjects with excellent and superior intelligence, intellect ratings, but not aggregate, will be offered positions as overseer of research staff, per discussion of the overseer and chief scientist. All other subjects should be disposed of as outlined in the confidential operations packet. Holy crap! Overseer's log. New researcher. Read about the new recruit in science. He's supposed to be on simple observation duties and closely monitored till subjects he knows and published have been processed. Uh, this one feels wrong. Nursery capacity. We're having a capacity problem in the nursery. We're as full as we can be at IVFS, but introducing more residents to the population is going to be problematic. I prefer to wait until the next turnover. I have to discuss. Fire. Damn it all. Some kind of wire issue caused the fire in the archive. We lost some hardware. That I'm told it would be difficult to repair if not impossible. Science lost a lot of historical research data. 
though I'm told we can get some junior staff started transcribing hard copies, okay? Some of the locks failed once the fire got bad, worrying me, worrying? But it turned out to be a blessing in disguise. Science staff nearby got in and stopped the boys quickly. If the locks hadn't failed, then myself and one of the senior scientists would have had to manually open the doors. Hmm. Uh, please just genome sequence preservations, residence vacancy. Opening doors. All right, I already opened that lock, so don't worry about that one. So whoa, 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 whoa. Um. So we came up this one. So where does this one go? Okay, that oversees that one. Where does this one go? Oh, just an over just an overlook terminal. Okay. Back up and there's that other door that opened up behind. Oh yeah. Grognak, yes. Not that I do melee, but you know, I'm collecting everything. All right, well, what else is there? Preston. I guess we've cleared vaults. Yeah, we've explored everything in Vault 75. So cool. All right, we just get back out of here now. Uh, I'm going to go ahead and get out of here. I will see you guys back on the surface. All right, we're back up. There's some activity going on. It sounds like this is what I meant when I said the school was really small. It's a really small little building. So it sounds like there's some synths out here doing something. Yeah, shoot that, Mr. Synth. Targeting. What are you guys going after? Don't shoot the cow! No! Don't shoot the cow! I will limit the pain I inflict if possible. Why are you shooting the cow? No! Bad! No! Don't shoot the cows! Jeez. Don't leave anything behind that might be useful. Wow, this guy went down like a biatch. You okay, Mr. Cow? Huh. Why well, they were all checking him. Uh okay, so I wanted to um Scully Dead business pointed out that there was some stuff in Vault, um, what is that, Vault, uh, uh, it was the Intact Vault, that there was some good loot to be had if you talk to them. So I th thought that I would go check that one out again. Um, I haven't been over there in a long time. Let's see, that one was... Is it Vault 81? Is that the one that's all built up? Let's check it out. Uh, I've got to go visit Garvey and drop off a couple quests with him. Yeah, I think this is the right one. Vault 81. Uh, so, uh, basically, there's a, I suppose there's a uh, weapon that this is, the only is for sale. I know that people still call home. Kind of weird that they still want to stay out here all by themselves. Yeah, I agree. It's kind of, it's kind of weird. 
Seriously? I don't want to talk. All right, jeez. Hope that Pip Boy belongs to you. It does. If only so I'm not check wasn't so if there are any quests. I'd love to see more of it. Hey, someday I'll make it out there. You just, it's like 30 feet, literally. You can just, yeah, you right there. All right, I can't steal anything from here yet. So I figured, let's give him a little walking through him. And see Horatio while you're here. Can't imagine you come across many barbers. In the oh place. yeah, let's get this to a haircut. Don't trouble in '81. No worries. Oh, I just want to steal your stuff. We'll steal all your stuff. I don't want to hear any negative reports about you, outsider. All right. Hi. Now that you made it in, we'll be keeping an eye on you. Well, so do us all a favor and behave yourself. All right. Isn't a speck of dirt anywhere. Okay, let's um, let's go ahead down into the into this place. <coughs> Kate, you just barely made it. Or yes, you did. Okay, thank you for teleporting. You're so wonderful. All right. Um, so I want to find the barber shop. If you need a doctor, Forsyth and Rachel are down in the medical center. Well, they can patch you up. Ma, oh, thank you. That's really wonderful of you. You don't have. You're not a named. I'm assuming the named people don't have any quests for you. Power armor. You better not be here to cause any trouble. I am. I made it to dun 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 dun. dun. Kill you all. Doctor Forsyth and Rachel have plenty of medical supplies to get you stocked up. I'm I'm pretty much okay. Thanks so. All right, where's the there's the lady? You, you're back. I'm not sure if you've spoken to Doctor Forsyth yet, but if you haven't, we really need your help. One of the children here is very ill. He's been bitten by some creature, and we need someone with good combat training to help him. Someone who knows the creatures of the Commonwealth. I'd like for you to please speak to Doctor Forsyth. He can give you the details. Okay. I'll go see him immediately. Thank you. Dr. Forsyth should be in the medical center. All right. Thanks, uh, Overseer. So let's go. Everyone's like, hey, go to the, do hey, go to the doctor. Hey, hey, go, go see the doctor. Hey, go see the doctor. So where is the... This is Alexis. Okay, so Alexis is the one who supposedly has this weapon. Looking for something? I have more stuff than I know what to do with. Yeah, let's uh um... Let's see what you got. Great. I have all sorts of odds and ends. Oh. Shoots an additional projectile. And how much does she want for it? 2800. Okay then. Oh. Oh. 13,000 each. 13,000. Wow. Okay, so what can I sell you? Uh, how about some pistols? Baseball bats, some combat rifles. I'll just get more, so. Don't really want those. Recoil comps have bolt action. Eight hundred down to eight hundred. Stunning super sledge. <laughs> I gotta keep that. My Zeta gun. Plus, she's helping me get rid of all this extra weight. See, now she owes me money.
Just like that. Summer shorts. Yes, I'm keeping those. Alright, good enough. So cool, we got that weapon. Thank you for the tip. Alright, now let's go find the doctor. See if they do. Oh, let's be careful about dropping down. They get all grumpy when you splash land and cause damage. Okay, medical. Huh? You're a mannequin fell over. There's a barber shop. Never had an incident on my watch, and I don't want to start today. Ashes. Oh, there's a cat. I think we gotta find. I think there's a quest to find a cat. Classroom. Is there signs anywhere? Your pit boy ever act up on you? Mine's been glitchy lately. Is that your pit boy? Better be. Um. Okay. Power armor and Vault Eighty One. We aren't raiders here, you know. But. <laughs> Doctors? Okay, here's a doctor's do something, here. Jacob. I'm running the test as fast as I can, Priscilla. I can't treat Austin until I know what he's infected with. Dr. Forsythe. Not now, Bobby. And you, stranger, will have to wait your turn. We have an emergency here. Austin got bitten by a mole rat. Isn't that mole enough, rat. Jacob? There can't be that many mole rat diseases or toxins. Rachel is examining the mole rat. Hopefully she'll find something. But these aren't ordinary mole rats. Who knows? Excuse Dr. Forsythe, me, Dr. Please. Forsythe. I think I found something that might help Austin. Bobby! Hold on, Priscilla. What is it, Bobby? Well, you know that door Austin found? He found it because of me. I keep my private things in there. Private things? He saw me get them. You mean your chems? Get to the point, Bobby. What did you find in that place? It's like a whole extra vault in there, but half ruined and caved in. There was this terminal there, so I started poking around in it. There were some notes and stuff about using mole rats to grow viruses. But they also said that they used them to make vaccines and treatments. A secret vault. Good lord, I've never heard of such a thing. Bobby, you're a genius. Yeah. A junkie genius. There might be a cure for whatever Austin got from that mole rat somewhere in that place. You there. How would you like to do Vault 81 a favor and possibly save my boy's life? Yes. <laughs> uh, sure, for Austin. I'll do it for Austin. You have a good heart. Bobby here will show you where he keeps his secret stash. There is a chance that somewhere in there is a cure for Austin. If you find it, bring it to Dr. Forsythe. And for Austin's sake, please hurry. Follow Will do. Hole in the wall, Careful find the cure. Mole rats down there. If they uh, Austin, yeah, I'm not really worried about mole rats, but well. thanks. Hey, outsider. Do me a favor. If my good-for-nothing brother asks you for Jet, tell him to buzz off. Um... Who's your brother? Who's your brother? His name's Bobby, and oh. he's my poor excuse for a twin, so you can get a good idea of what he looks like. Look, he's a junkie, but he's getting careless. If he gets caught, we're both in trouble. And as much as I'd like to leave this canned paradise, that's not how I want to go. If he's addicted, you should try to help him get clean. I don't think I haven't tried. I locked him in his room for a week. It wasn't two days before he was using again. She's well now modeled. I admit, I've got my own share of the blame here. Bobby gets his chems from me, and I keep him on a short leash. But Whoa. not anymore. I'm cutting off his useless ass. Why are you supplying Why him? Why would you feed his habit? He's my brother, and he's overworked. I give him a little jet, and he perks up. He seems happy. I feel better. Done. <laughs> yeah, it's not the way you should work here. Story. He wants to put me at risk. He gets cut off. Good. That's the first step to helping your brother. Should have done it a long time ago. But things ain't easy around here. All right, so Tina, we'll be back to you later. Okay, let's go with uh, what's Nugget here. The reactor area. Huh? Oh wow, yeah. Hey 
Bobby. Hey, Bobby, I'm talking to you. Okay. Well, uh, we'll uh, we'll go do that. Um, let's take a look here. We've got a few moments left here. Bobby. You won't talk to me, huh? All right. Ooh. Well, before we do anything else, let's uh, master password, huh? So I get an extra attempt now because I got that bobblehead, which is freaking awesome. Malevolent. Wow, three. Okay, that's good. Uh, nope. Bedchamber. Nope. Monitoring. One, two, three. There we go. There we go. Yes, 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 yes. Uh, welcome to Vault 81. Thank you for accepting your new role as Officer Vault 81. Progress. Program. Present critical research opportunity. So what's the thing going to be here? In academic and applied medical research will make you capable leader of Vault 81 science staff. Okay, thank you again for reconsidering this offer and good luck. Uh, Prime Directive. To research infectious diseases and antibodies with particular attention paid to potential mutations in the climate of heavy radiation. Clinical trials are a vital part of Vault 81's mission. Trials will be performed in three stages. Stage 1 trials are conducted in Petri dish cultures, stage two, are performed in the colony of heterocephalus glabber specimens furnished by Vault Tech. Stage three, trials may be performed on the residential population of Vault 81. And there's the twist. Scientific staff will be restricted to hermetically sealed research area. This measure reduces the chance of cross-contamination between residential and science staff populations. Great. So they're experimenting with viruses on... What a bunch of pricks. As outlined in the operations handbook, all staff members of Vault 81 will be required to participate in mandatory drills at on-site. Okay, event of an actual alpha alert. Residents will be admitted into the vault by overseer staff. All scientific staff should report to their workstations immediately, avoiding contact with the general population. Um, right. All residents sh should be admitted. Okay, yeah. Research community. Vault Tech proprietary. Okay, testing one, two, three. Where is everyone? Uh, there's three of us over here. What's going on? I'll let you get in this. So I can, it's been a madhouse inside. Myself, Jim Flint, and that kid, Burrow. What's everyone else? Over here, residents are being admitted. They started showing up in droves once the news started broadcasting. That's what I've heard. I think Vault Tech would have had enough warning to call at least a beta drill for staff this morning. Something must have gone wrong. Um, phase one trial. We're pretty limited down here. We've been focused on antibiotics. We have our first Petri dish trials underway. I saw that last night. It's promising. What do you think? Trials just started. Virus is going to be fused. Okay. Um, I wonder if food extruder issue. So I, I think they're communicating with a different um, vault or something. So they got some problems with foods. Phase two trial. Formula was on file. Trial one. Okay. Phase two. Mole rat population. Uh, weird stuff that Kibble provided for them. Hmm. Experimented on mole rats. Nice. Bioluminescence. Nice. More intelligence. Nice. Uh, divide the colony. Most unusual suspect put them under control. Colony a new diet taken from our own food supply. Um, hmm. Delivery. Uh, delivery mechanisms. Interpret with the nozzles and hmm. So they're going to phase three. Nozzle issues. Please answer. Not a breach of ethics. Uh, 
Something suspicious. What's going on? Huh. So they're doing all kinds of bad stuff. Overseer's private a job's job. Hmm. So many conclusions. Finally give my full briefing. Not only has Volta asked me to do a clinical trials on humans, they've done some serious they have got serious backers in government. I can't believe I can't just blow the whistle on this. Oh, this guy. So this guy's actually a nice guy. Got the call today. Another beta drill. Um, deliberately sabotaged the phone. That's such a simple thing. But none of the science staff received a notification about the drill. So this guy actually let nice people in. That's awesome. So we have a nice overseer. Uh, clearing the phone list prevented most of the science staff from showing up, but there are th but three still made it in. Flint and Collins are both my age and live in the Fens. They had to get here th with the general population. Burrow is just an overachiever. He came in by the morning just to see if it would be a drill today, figures. Uh, the pro protocols, they've already busy with their work, especially since there's only three of them. Oh, dang it. They suspect. Robot, he's calling her Curdy now. Keep the mood relative stable. Need to keep him calm. Forgiveness. I made a grim choice. I sabotaged the delivery nozzles in all the residential quarters as soon as I was able. I didn't expect Burroughs to notice so soon. Well, I didn't expect Collins to get so close to phase three trial so quickly. Uh, cutting off communication is a cowardly thing to do, but what option do I have? They'll have food and water in there for as long as they need. I just can't let them go through the human trials for God knows what vault Tech plans to do with their research. Awesome! That's really cool. So we actually have a nice, a nice guy... Um, a nice guy. In that thing. That's really cool. All right, guys, we're going to end the episode there. When we come back, we'll head over here to the secret Vault 81 and see what kind of mutated gerbils have been happening. Until then, I hope you guys enjoyed it. If you are, click that like button, leave me some comments, tell your friends, your family, and your grandma, and I'll see you back here for more exciting Fallout adventures. Bye!